Good afternoon, YouTubers. Thank you once again for joining me as I take you on another journey with this time. I'm showing you the orchids that I have reported in Lekka. Um, There isn't a lot to report really because um, there is the first one, one of those that I showed you that the roots um, have all gone. The roots in this one is totally gone. I am trying to get this one to it was gone if you see my previous video where i talked about these orchids it was actually gone well before i put it into the lecker it's got no root system on at all totally dried up but i am trying to see whether or not it will um start uh, a new root the leaves have become in, have become quite dehydrated as you can see but i did show you this in the initial video that uh, this was becoming dehydrated. What I'll do now is I'll cut this off because it serves no purpose now and it had, might actually be detracting from the plant producing a new root. So I will um, snip this off later. So that is that one. Then the second I want to show you is this. Um, it hasn't died but neither has it um grown so um mm, the, the root system looks good on here still so as i said you know if they have to get um used to the new environment uh i'm looking to see if there's another spike or what this was there's something growing under here but um it's not a root i think Maybe it was actually there before I started and I just didn't notice because it was under the leaf. So the root on here, there was some damage. I don't know if you can if I show you in the video. There's some damage right at the top of the um, one of the roots here. Um, that has been there from the beginning. It is still there. But the good news is it hasn't rotted any further. So it is the same way it was from that last time. So, um, I'll wait for the flowers to finish opening up and blooming and then we'll cut this off because, uh, this takes a lot of energy from the plant. So I want to see, um, what, they're quite pretty anyway. They're very delicate, these, uh, bloom. So what I want to do is to see, um, how it fares after I cut the spike off to see what will happen but um that one so far no regrets guys then there is this one that i want to show you um very pretty bloom all most of the buds have opened up i haven't touched this one and i don't want to either because if it is going okay then i don't want to um there's a leaf that's down here that's turning yellow and when this happens on orchid orchids it means that there is actually something amiss but because for the most part the plant is doing well i don't want to disturb it at all you can see some of the roots um have dried up i think i did mention that in my um original video um but I don't want to disturb it because it seems okay. Um, if it is not dying, then I want to leave it alone. There's new roots that is coming, um, plus the original roots that it has. So um, I don't know if you can see under there, there's a new root shooting just there. Just there, yeah. Yeah, so what I want to do is to leave this to see how far it will go because i don't want to disturb it if there's no reason for me to do so but isn't the flowers pretty i think this is very very pretty i quite um like this shade of purple or lilac or whatever you want to call it but i like this shade it's it's really pretty and um i'm glad that it continued to bloom um since i've got it uh, everything is looking okay with this one. I haven't got any regrets. So the fourth and last orchid that I want to show you, I've got some other dancing lady 
ladies or kids that the root system is is different it's more fibrous um at some point i will show you i don't think um those are doing quite well in the leka as i'd hoped but um there's time yet for me to see what's going on with that so i'll leave it be and then another time i'll do a video once i think the plant has got an, an enough time to acclimatize to the the system so the final orchid is this yellow one it's not doing too well i but i don't know why um the leaves are dehydrated as you can see it's crinkly and dehydrated uh, the flowers are droopy. Um, at the end of the spike, the um, the buds are dead. So I'm not quite sure what has gone wrong with this one. Um, so what I did today was I took it out of the Lekka to have a look to see what is going on. There, the, the roots are a bit disjointed in it for example there's this aerial root that i had left out it came like this in the pot with this aerial root so i thought i would leave the aerial root um as it is um when i potted it but it was broken in several places this aerial root here um right here was a break um i decided that i wasn't going to do anything i was going to leave that alone and then here was a break so it is healed completely the break that was here to my amazement because i didn't know it could do that but then this end of the root is totally dried up but as you can see this bit up to here is quite nice and plump and obviously is working for the plant so i think um i will just leave everything as it is i don't want to touch anything because i don't know um how the rooting system work in in this so i think i'll leave that alone i took the plant out all together to see how the rest of the root is going and um some bits of it are quite dry while the tips are quite green because here where you see these tips they're quite firm and green but like in the middle it is dry like here so what i intend to do as i said because i don't know if the vein or whatever you want to call it that runs inside of here is still alive in the rest of the plant because I'm thinking it must be if this bit is green um, still so it's, it's green and firm so I'm thinking that the bit that runs in the middle is still alive so what I'm talking about guys if I show you quickly on here inside of those plump roots runs these veins in an orchid the the plump cushiony bits are just there to protect this bit similar like how your spine protects your spinal cord basically this is how this works so, you know for, you know just to, to give you an example so this guy runs in the middle of those fat cushiony roots that you see so i believe that this is still alive in some of my roots hence why these bits are still green they're not rotten or anything and the other bits are dry like here and i think that probably also indicates that um the water level was too far down for the orchid to reach so therefore it wasn't getting enough water so i'm glad it hasn't got the root rot like i thought that would happen it's still not too late because obviously this plant still got a way to go in the lecker but as you can see up the top here the roots are nice and green um it's probably a lighter green than this here because what i did when i took it out i just decided to um give it a spray with some um diluted hydrogen peroxide but um so i still got a way to go and it's got a new root coming if i can sh find it i'll show you you probably can't see it, but just under here there is a new root coming which um means that you know the plant is fighting for survival so um i must say though it is faring better than if i had it in um the regular orchid potted mix because those don't do anything for me um when i've got orchid and um you 
water because you think that the orchid needs water then you think that you've overwatered it so you leave it to dry then you think you're gonna bottom feed so that the orchid gets the water from the bottom up then you realize that you got root rot and you know all sort of problems i've never been able to get it right in terms of looking after orchids so um i've had this coming up to a month i know that's not too long for most people but because i know that um for me the orchid would die within the first two weeks it would start looking weak and droopy i am quite pleased at the way that these have come on and i think i've got the orchid in lecker since um the beginning about the 4th of december i put it in lecker that would have been 2020 so um so it's over a month now since i've got them in lecker and i think that um they're doing pretty well and this one i just love the color i just look at this nearly every day i just go to have a look at this one because i think it the color is just so cool and the fact that the orchid is so nice and green and vibrant and you know and in spite of the fact that it's got some dead roots but as i say i won't touch this because if the plant is okay i'm not going to disturb it so yeah so that's my catch-up um update regarding my orchids in lecker um if you have any comments or questions please put them in the link below please check out my other videos on my channel it's mostly talking about my journey into lecker please do subscribe to my video if you like the contents and as usual if there's something that you'd like to see that you haven't yet seen from my video then um please let me know and i will post a video if i can for you thank you for joining me again today enjoy the rest of your day thank you bye